You know, people who practice golf at home are probably about as welcome in their home as a fourth grader practicing trumpet at home. I mean, can you think of anything more annoying? I'm gonna go pretend like I'm golfing so that when I go do my real golfing, I'm actually better at doing the real golfing than I was when I was pretending to do golfing in my basement or in the hallway or in the master bedroom or in the bathroom, wherever the hell people practice golfing. Uh, it reminds me of my nephews when they went through a phase of pretending like they were skateboarding and they would jump off of curbs and do stuff like this. And it's like, you're just, all you're doing is annoying the grown-ups. I think the worst thing is when kids are practicing the violin. I mean, once a violin is played well, it's great, but oh, those first... And I think um, that might be worse than practicing golf at home, but I'm not quite sure. What if I just decided to start practicing, I don't know, what could I practice at home? could practice, um, you know, my times tables. <clears throat> I never practiced my times tables in third grade. I really never learned my times tables. I hated them, I hated times tables. It's this fixed, immovable thing. I could have just learned it. Nope, didn't bother learning it. Could have learned the periodic table of elements, didn't learn it. I learned all the prepositions. I had to do that in eighth grade English. Learned all the prepositions, more than 80 of them. I know a lot of them now. Maybe I should practice my prepositions. Maybe I should just lay off of people practicing golf at home and practice what I want to practice. Don't practice what I preach. Maybe I could practice preaching at home.